Good evening. Well, today is Thursday, October 5th, 2023. Jump date for Friday the 6th. Little housekeeping before we get started. This weekend I will be in Bozeman, Montana. So the service will likely post sometimes over the weekend for Monday. And then it might post at odd hours uh, next week. Uh, and I'll be back in town on Wednesday. So just look for it early in the morning or late at night over the next few days. And I'll put updates. If you look down below this video, there's a comment area, and that's where I'll put any comments or updates. In some cases, if the video is just not plausible to get uploaded and, and processed and everything else, I'll just uh, put whatever the setups is setups are uh, down below. Anyway, as far as setups for tomorrow, let's stick with the CCJ. Of course, that is usual wait for an entry not a bad day overall in the portfolio we'll take a look at this in just one second by the way this elf since the move was so fast feel free to lock and load a little early on that the second loaf as you know is where the real money is after you take that initial profit target and shorts can be really tricky sometimes they they move nicely obviously but they also have a lot of retrace rallies that could really be a pain in the buttocks Anyway, KBH, another one of those getting kind of close to that IPT. So don't split hairs on these guys. As I said, I've already taken half profits on ELF since it moved so far and so fast on the first day. But uh, do uh, keep an eye out on those two and do look to lock and load, especially since they're shorts. Speaking of shorts, a couple of shorts in here tonight still showing up. As far as official setups, CCJ once again, of course, wait for an entry on that one but some of these big fat semiconductors still look like potential shorts in here but as far as fish setups let's just stick with the k the c c j he tried to say let's take a look at the portfolio and then we'll talk about the overall market and some sector action elf nice little slide there again it's getting fairly close at our ipt when they make a really move a really big move really fast especially in a short side consider locking in half remember if this does turn out to be the mother of all trends, we'll have, we'll have the second loaf to ride out. Uh, KBH, again, as I just said, getting fairly close to that IPT, so don't split hairs on that one either. KNF, a little bit of a bounce today. Well, not really when you look at it up 11 cents, but I'll take it. Better than the poke of the eye. Decent day at LFMD, right at these multi-year highs. Yeah, one-year plus highs at least. I'm going to go ahead and bump the stop a little on that. We're now in long-term trend following mode let's take a look at the overall market and do some drilling down first of all let's take a look at the p's s&p 500 sold off a little bit still an inside day did come back by the end of the day but not quite back to the plus column uh, what's what i'm a little concerned about is we're not seeing a big bounce from oversold just yet i would expect a little bit more of a bounce from oversold in here but obviously it still looks ugly and obviously a trend follower in me sure thinks that it has rolled over. Now, bigger picture and longer term, it could be just a correction, as you can see here, kind of a nice thrust higher followed by a correction. But even still, we stalled short of the prior highs in here. So just for now, it doesn't look so hot. If we got back above the 30 EMA, I wouldn't rush out and buy it, but I'd feel a little bit better about the action in the P's. Bonds down a little in here. Boy, they've been in just an abysmal downtrend. This is just ugly chart i even hate that <laughs> that chart's so ugly i hate to even look at it take a look at the nasdaq flatsville in there it's a bit of a dip but inside day too so not a tremendous amount to report tonight lots of landry light below that 30 ema but it is or it has found a little support here at recent lows rusty what can i say same as it ever was kind of flatsville today but just stuck in this longer term super long term sideways range short to medium term obviously remaining in a pretty serious slide energies had a little bit of an opening gap reverse so i'm not seeing too many setups here it's a bit of a bummer since they've retraced nearly 100 percent of their breakout i'm not counting them down and out just yet but i have seen a lot of a lot of individuals issues failing as of late i didn't have coffee i swear <laughs> some areas got whacked today in spite of the market coming back look at that foods down over two and a half percent everywhere else or most everywhere else you look it looks fairly ugly most areas are remaining in downtrends drugs had a decent bounce but recently gave up all of their breakout and then some look like they've rolled over in here biotech had the mother of all days in here this is the type of bounce you want to see from over so doesn't mean that the trend is over it just means that we've got a nice little relief rally underway 
there. Health services, the list goes on and on. Leisure, MNC, lots and lots of areas have rolled over. Lots and lots of areas looking ugly in here. Utilities, of course, with, with uh, bonds being so weak. You can see just off of these multi-year lows, and that's pretty ugly there. All the way since it uh, looks like COVID on those guys, the first wave at least. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. It's still pretty ugly out there, so just bide your time mostly for now. If you have any questions, you know the routine. Oh, uh, chart show later tonight. Hope to see you there. And my apologies for the small screen here. I'll make sure that's fixed on the next recording. Thank you so much.